Now at five, you may remember Mark Howard. We met him last spring as he was preparing for a stem cell transplant to treat his blood cancer. Uh, we don't always get to share what happens after these major procedures, but tonight we do. 10 TV's Brittany Bailey has a major update for us tonight. Brit? That's right, Yolanda and Andrew. For a man who hates needles, well, he's never spent much time in the hospital either. This was quite the journey for him, and it's not over yet. But Mark Howard has now cleared a major hurdle. You know, the big roller coasters out at the amusement parks have nothing on the roller coaster when you're ride, that you're riding when you're battling cancer. Mark Howard relied on his longtime love, Sonia Grant, to see him through those peaks and valleys. Are you going to be a good boy at the park? Along with their constant canine companion, Louie. Good morning, sir. And Louie was right by their side through the good and the bad. And for Howard, the bad often involved needles. I still don't like him. <laughs> but he did what he had to do to get him through his treatment for multiple myeloma that eventually involved an autologous stem cell transplant, a procedure using his own cells. We wipe, wipe out the bone marrow and then infuse the stem cells. Um, and then those stem cells really magically work their way into your bone marrow, into the bone marrow, and start, um, you know, uh, producing new cells. That procedure happened through Ohio Health's new blood and marrow transplant program. Mark Howard got his life-changing transplant on December 30th. He does have a good prognosis uh, because his, um, his myeloma has been very responsive uh, to treatment. So I'm, I'm praying, you know what I mean, and, you know, hoping that things... You know, did exactly what they were supposed to do. You know, but regardless of whom or what, man, I got to be here and things must continue. You know, this thing called life. And it is what it is. Got to, got to eat what's on the plate. <laughs> if we have to go further, we'll just go further. I mean, we we can endure. After all, the two have endured so much already. Now they just have to wait to see if that procedure worked. Trust your process. Um, good days, bad days. Take them with a grain of salt and trust the process. And make sure you have a great team of medical people with you. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. Oh, wow. Love that. Now, Mark Howard will have a checkup coming up in about two months or so, and he'll find out then whether that multiple myeloma is still there. And if so, he says he still will have some more options, including perhaps a clinical trial. So good news so far, mm -hmm. waiting for hopefully more good news. Absolutely. Yes. And it's good to know there's some other options out there as well. Yeah, I now, love that. Yeah. Trust the process. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, that's something we can all take away, right? <laughs> Absolutely. And, you know, he used his own stem cells, mm -hmm. but I guess this story is also a good example of why stem cell donation is so mm -hmm. important, because if he weren't able to... Right. Right. Dr. Afabara, who was in this story as well and who was his doctor, said, please, if you do this story, remind people mm -hmm. that they can sign up at beamatch.org, bethematch.org, and, you know, sign up and just get a kit sent right to you. You could perhaps donate and mm -hmm. save someone's life. It mm -hmm. could be life-changing for them. Absolutely. Brittany All right, thank Bailey. you, Brittany. Thanks for updating us on that one.